away India breaks a world record and shoots 104 satellites in one go into space. We're going to take a look at this moment. We're going to take a look at how the country is becoming a serious player in the space race. And of course... Yes, I know India has been pressing ahead. This whole business of putting commercial satellites into space for a fee has been growing, hasn't it? China and Japan. That's right. Um, you know, many people are saying that if it was the Russians and the Americans in the 60s, well, now it's uh, the Indians and the Chinese, really, who are the new sort of space rivals, if you will. Uh, if you remember, in 2013, India sent uh, a satellite to Mars uh, at a fraction of the cost of a similar satellite that was sent uh, by the United States, by NASA. Uh, I think it was a tenth of the cost. And there was a joke that, uh, you know, the, the movie, the Hollywood movie Gravity cost four times more than the, than the Indian satellite launch. Uh, and it really underlines how, how strongly India's sort of approached this whole lucrative commercial market, uh, you know, basically uh, allowing, allowing countries to take advantage of its technology, but also the fact that it's being offered at a very, very competitive price. Andre, thank you very much for that. Those pictures on your screen now live from the Sri Harikota Space Center in the southern Indian state of Andhra Pradesh. They've just launched a rocket carrying a record number of satellites into space, 104 satellites on a single mission. Let's think about this a little bit more. Okay, let's get to the top. You know, let's get to the top. Of the three yeah, boys in the toy. Yeah, we all yeah, just yeah. want to talk about yeah. uh, India breaking this. What about three hours ago? Not even that, maybe yeah. breaking this world record. 104 satellites in one in, in, in one shot. Um, uh, really, this this agency is becoming a, a very serious player in the in the race. Well, look, look, if we've seen anything that's come out of India over the last decade, two decades, it's innovation, <laughs> appetite for delivering new mm. technology. We've seen it aggressively happen in tech markets, in other businesses, and this is another area that India is looking to lead on globally. Yes, it's broken the record, which I think the Russians held yes, from 2012. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 104, as you say, Aaron, satellites on this one rocket. Now, you know, the size of these things has changed drastically over the years. Great capability. 96 of them are from the U.S. Mm -hmm. okay, so they're, they're dealing with international markets here. But the question is, it's about capability. Now, we here in the U.K., are also building a great capability in satellite construction. We have a, a satellite catapult that the government funds, really world-leading in terms of how we develop technology here. Uh, the Indians are trying to be, a, well, play the race, the satellite yeah. space race, I think. And, they, and, and they do it very, very, and they can do it for very, very cheaply. But I get lo I'm getting, a, I've had lots of tweets this morning, a question you mentioned about the UK doing this. So here's the question. India has a, a space program. India has nuclear weapons. A third of Indians live on less than a dollar a day. But if they've got a space program, they've got a nuclear program, should the likes of UK, Australia, be giving India aid? You've got about 30 seconds. Right. Well, look, the question isn't about where should the money be spent. Even in the UK, as we spend in the, in the satellite industry, we have questions about should that money go into the NHS? Should it go into welfare reform? Should it go into other factors? I think the Indian government is looking at investing in innovation that will deliver for its economy and help that vast population to raise its standard of living. It's a macro conversation about policy and politics and where you place your bets. But I think, you know, good on the Indians for doing it. Okay. There are other countries also trying to achieve it as well.